Jade and I are both infected, and Rice made us fight for Antizin. She... she let me have it. Sacrificed her life for me. And when she turned, I... I had to put her out of her misery. First Raheem, now Jade. I swear I'm gonna fucking make Rice pay. Dr. Camden, it's Crane. Do you copy? Crane, good to hear you're still alive. Did you find Jade? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Listen, I also found Dr. Zara's tissue samples, and I'll bring them to you, but... But first, there's something else I need to do. <sighs> okay, Crane, but remember, we don't have a lot of time. Look, I know, Doc, but I'm about to buy us time. I'll be in touch. Well, we are quickly losing our friends here. And I just hit the wrong button to jump. I just hit B... <laughs> I just hit a uh, circle to jump, which is, the, which is the stand in for B, which is what I've been pressing. Oh! Well. Hello, surprise. Uh, we're having a good time today. Hey, friend. Just gonna, thanks for the experience. Just gonna take these guys out since they're attracted by the noise. Granted, I could just walk away, but look at all the experience. Look at all the experience. Leveling up, motherfuckers. How, oh, God. How many of them are coming? I'm out. Hi, explosion. Bye, explosion. Alright, we're gonna go meet up with Troy. Our friend Jade has died horribly. And it was a sad death, although... The sheer outrage of the main character... Was slightly surprising, just because I'm like... Oh no, it's your love interest that you've had such great relationships with so far. Wait, you've talked to her like five minutes on screen. And then she's always been somewhere else, and not around you. And... It's like, like it's, it's almost like a bunch of stuff happened that I wasn't a part of or something. I'm like, did I miss something? Because we didn't really have a thing. Oh, well. I mean, it's it's tragic when people die. That's that's bad. I don't want dead people. Oh, yeah, I already have my grappling hook. Hang on. Hi, everybody. Whoops. Sorry, I want the stuff, though. So you're going to have to just take a break from living. There we go. Just a few horrifying head explosions. There we go. I'm sorry, but I need I want the survivor experience, and you're taking my survival experience. I have more than 99 lockpicks. In related news, apparently you can get into more than 99 lockpicks. I didn't even know that was an option. It's funny how this was a resource concern for about a half an hour. Like, the moment the game started, it was like, Oh no, I have to be careful about how many lockpicks I have. And then, like... An hour later, I'm like, I'm just gonna buy, like, 50 lockpicks, because they're pretty cheap. And then the game just kept throwing them at me faster than I would use them. Hey guys, how's it going? Just gonna go for some quick kills. If you're gonna all crowd around me like this, I'm just gonna take the experience. There we go. He's down. He's He'll be fine. He's fine. I cured him. Congratulations. Oh, look at this big nasty guy. Ow! Alright, that could have been orchestrated better. Let's get out of here. Let's take get some distance between me and him. That hurts, sir. I'm not really pleased with what you just did. Ow, shit. Okay. I have an excuse for how dumb that lo- Oh! Okay, I'm out. That's gonna explode. Ooh. Oh, God! <laughs> Things are escalating. Things are escalating a bit. Alright, quick heal. So, the reason why I look like I just walked up to that guy and took a hit like an idiot was because... He had a weird attack animation, and the ang it looked like he was going to attack the total wrong direction there. So I didn't think he was going to hit me, so, so I thought I had a clear opening. And then he just sort of, like, warped around in a circle and nailed me. <laughs> I just sort of, sort of just slowly took some limbs off that guy. So this weapon still has one more repair in it, so I'm still using it for a little while before I switch to... Let's see here. Hey, buddy. I saw you too. Congratulations. Was that a survivor down there? Oh, there's a survivor. Shit. Uh, if I get their attention... I might be able to get in... ...and save these guys? Ow. I tried dodging back. And unfortunately, the, uh, the brute guys have a longer range attack than your dodges. Is there a guy here? I see you. You're not surprising me. Although, you're really swift. Yep, they're a little, they're a little hard to hit. Do you have stuff on you? You used to be a survivor recently. They are. We're, we're getting attention. These guys really creep me out because they still talk like people. Like, you hit them once, they're like, No! Please! And you you get a sense for the fact that they're they were they were recently people. Ooh, that's a thousand experience right there. 
you really get a sense for the fact that they were recently people. And we got we got a glimpse on, into how that works when, uh... Is that a good... That, that might be worth something. Uh, all, both survivors probably died. Oh well, they have money on them, so that's nice. Uh, because of what just happened with... Hi, dude. Bye, dude. That was a surprise. You good guy, bad guy. Oh, you're a bad guy. I'm waiting for you. I was, I was ready. I know, I know what to do here. All right, weapons breaking. Time to repair it. Is it going to proc? No, it didn't. Okay. No more repairs on the sickle that lasted us for so long. This will be the final run with it. Then I'm gonna trash it and replace it with a katana. Ooh, a statue. Just randomly finding collectibles on accident, basically. What are we gonna find here? But yeah, we because of what would happen with what happened with Jade, we we got a glimpse of what it's like to become a zombie, and they don't fully realize that they're zombies. So when they're begging, it's like there's still like a person in there, kind of. You got it. They made the whole thing kind of creepy. It's all really unfortunate. What do you have here? Electronics. Thank you. Still scavenging late this late in the game, even though I don't need to necessarily. Just figured I'd walk towards the objective and just grab things along the way, and kind of thought I'd be there by now. We had, an, we had an interesting little combat set piece for a while that distracted me. Where we had that guy blocking my path and so many waves of bad guys coming in. There's a store nearby. I don't feel that much need to visit a store right now, though. So I'm just going to head towards the objective. Oh. Well, they're having a grand old time over there. What is that? So it's one of, those, it's one of, the, it's one of the giants. We encountered what... I think this is the guy that we fought that was uh, part of the rice. Rises... Oh. This is like the boss fight we fought with, uh, when we dealt with the Rise. Are they gonna attack me? Are they, or are they friendly? I, don't, I think the survivors here are friendly. All right, I'm gonna see if I can lure him over here. Come on, charge me. Charge me. I have an obvious distraction in mind. Why aren't you walking towards me? Okay, fine. Use that one. Did that didn't hit him? I was not in range. This guy's, like, not even acknowledging me. I feel ignored. This is rude. What is going on? Are you for real? You just, like, not noticing me or something? Like, what's going on here? Come on. Look! Oh, God! Okay, you caught me off guard a little bit. Uh... God damn it! God damn it, now he decides to look at me. What was up with the AI there? I think we were fighting over there. I guess the game got sick of my bullshit because when I died, they just spawned me right by my objective, which is that woman over there. A tragic part of this game is that you can't use weapons when you're in a safe zone. So, in any zombie situation, it's like, oh, that guy needs help. I know, I'll whip out my gun and I'll snipe that dude. You can't. You can't use a weapon here. Even though you should totally use a gun right now to save that guy's life. So I guess he's just gonna die. Oh well. That's too bad. Blame the developers. So, what do I have to do? You need to install it at the highest place possible. That way we'll have the best chance to break through. Okay, so let me guess. I need to head out to that giant antenna tower at the edge of town? The fastest way is through the sewers. Savvy will guide you over the radio. So contact him when you get to the other side. And Crane, when you install the amp, make sure to set the correct frequency on your radio. Pull this off, and the entire world will hear you. <sighs> Let's hope so. See you, Troy. Midway through that conversation, there was a pop-up that said, Survivor died. It's like, I couldn't do it. I couldn't help him. I, the game wouldn't let me shoot him. I literally don't have the ability to use a gun right now. It's like they just... It's like that guy was always doomed to die. Okay, so apparently there's someone that's actually named Savvy. Alright, what do you have? I can come sell stuff. I want to hold on to my coffee still, because I think... Yeah, let's sell all my cigarettes. I want to hold on to my coffee, because we might still find a use for it. Because... Uh, Tahir's weapon's relatively... It's actually relatively, uh, valuable. I'll hold on to it for now. Uh, I'm holding on to coffee in case I ever get back to the original area, because that place they, were, they, wanted, they wanted to buy my coffee. What would I want to buy from this guy? He doesn't. He, oh, he doesn't even sell. Uh, he doesn't even sell med kits. Come on, man. And oh wow, vicious katana, five hundred. I'd love to buy that sometime. But I need. To, I need to get. Uh, I need to become survivor rank eighteen. Military rifle. 
Is that more powerful than a, than a, a 137, accuracy 55, rate of fire 100? How is this purple rifle any different? It's just the same weapon. Oh well. I'm set on equipment, I'll just keep saving my money. <laughs> this really did become super parkour oriented, didn't it? Like, just created a series of... Oh god. Well, I guess I'm at the bottom now. How do I... How do I leave? Have I made a mistake? Is there not a way... Is there not a door down here? <laughs> I just thought this was how you left. And I can't... And I can't use a grappling hook because it's a safe area. Ooh, a statue. Well, I guess it wasn't all... It wasn't all pointless. <laughs> Weird. How do you leave this building then? I've never been to this building, I don't think, before. They sort of threw it at me. And they're like, you know how to get out, right? I'm like, where am I? <laughs> I teleported into here when I died, so like, I don't even... I don't know how my character got in here. Oh god. Please grab on. Can I climb out the window? I can't climb out windows. Game. Game, where do I go? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know where I, I don't know where I go. Grab the ledge, maybe? Good job, buddy. And I can't use that window either. You're really not supposed to come down here, are you? This is just where you can... Oh, this is just where you can rest if you want to for the night. And then up here is the merchant. And that's the entire tower. Oh. You have to use a zipline to get out of here. How do, how do you get up here in the first place? That's what I'm curious about because I never got up here in the first place. I, uh, I just magically teleported in here. Oh. Trash cart. There's garbage over there. I can jump to that. Okay. Let's see if I can make... Ah! Made it. Pro stats. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> he thinks he knows how to walk. I'll t he can't walk the walk, and because I just shoved my face down his throat, I mean my, my foot down his throat, I don't think he can talk the talk. So where are we trying? We're trying to meet a guy named Savvy, which I find endlessly amusing that there's a guy named Savvy. And this grappling hook's gonna make it really easy to get to him, hopefully. Hoop. Careful. Careful. There we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, God. <laughs> Physics. That was a Wile E. Coyote moment where I like, paused in midair and then it just dropped me. <laughs> what, a, what, just, what a cartoonish moment. I did see the airdrop on the map, but I don't feel like tracking another one down just yet. Because I feel... This place does seem to have a lot of airdrops in it. I think they just want to let you... just They just want to let you hit max level if you haven't already. So... You could easily farm a bunch of them. There's another one already, right here. Is it surrounded by... It's surrounded by Rise's men. That's a lot of Rise's men, by the way. Like, too many? I kind of want to make a mess, though. It's just... It's like shooting fish in a barrel at this point. So... Oops. I have not really been using the UV flashlight. So we'll... Place that. And put on... Oh! Oh shit, none of my equipment's on me right now. Well, that's awkward. Can I? Cr I forgot to. I forgot to put my new stuff on. Can I craft grenades? I can. Oh, oh, we can have such fun today. We're going to have such a great time, because shrap shrapnel grenades may not be very useful against zombies, but you know what? They're probably pretty goddamn useful against is some dumb humans. Master crafter. Yeah, achievement unlocked. I don't even know what that one was. That that one was there. Uh, I'm not usually aware of. Remember, if you cannot reach the tower in time, get your ass to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. <laughs> Everyone dead? A lot of them are dead. There's just like two that are probably up on balconies. I know what to do. Oh, are those zombers? I think them. I think them some zombers. Where? Where? Oh, get off the ledge. Oh, oh. Where's Rice's men? Ow! Rude, rude, rude! Stop being alive. Stop it. Stop it! You're being rude. I don't appreciate your at- I don't appreciate your attitude. There we go. So much for Rice's men. Alright. Taken care of. That'll work on my reward. Ooh. It's a little something right here. But yeah, I should go- I should go get the actual supplies, of course. Are people breaking into here? Oh, there's a zomber. Oh, there's a whole bunch of zombers. Uh-oh. They're coming in. They're coming in to make a mess. Alright, well. Come at me, bros. I'm ready for you. 
There we go. There we go. Just gotta aim for a head level. There's a guy waiting over here. Where'd he go? Ow. Rude. It is tragic when they have that moment of like, I'm still alive, don't kill me. It's getting night it's gonna be nighttime soon, so I gotta hurry. Oh god, he's they're on fire. I don't want that. I don't want you're gonna get you're gonna get soot on my nice clothes. Okay. That's not what I'm looking for. It's over here, but this last zombie's gonna come after me too. Hey buddy. There we go. Slow mo headshot. Let's get this before more of them show up. There was a lot of guys hanging out around here. Did they didn't did they not know how to open up a uh, lockpick? Like there's like ten of them and they didn't know how to how to use a lockpick. They're just like, oh, well, I guess we'll just wait it out. It's not like it's about to come, become nighttime or anything. Ooh, soul and valuables, disaster on the real. Yeah, there's some. I'm making I'm making bank here. Well, I might as well grab their his gun because we definitely have the inventory space for it since I forgot to grab my other equipment. Really, the important thing was just to have my katana when I need it. Everything else is less important. Katana plus grappling hook equals happy me. All right, let's. See if I can fu not fuck this one up. Yeah, the trash bags of infinite of infinite fall damage reduction, because those are re those are reasonable. So I need to go enter the sewers here. Let's get that started before it becomes dark, and the overworld becomes infested with nasties. What's in here? I can open this up. Oh, that's my that's probably my goal down there, huh? Oh, what you guys doing? What you doing? Get out of my way. Okay. Just keeping a quick lookout for some surprise. Any cool surprises to pick up? I don't want to get underground before. I want to get underground and enter whatever the dungeon slash zone is of this mission before it becomes nighttime. Because at that point, we under attack. Let's get some doors closed behind us. Anyone in here? Oh, lockpicking medium. I should have done this first before opening a door right next to me that could have had a zombie behind it. Come on. Here we go. How many lockpicks do I have? I should check. Uh, iron hatchet. Oh, that's that's some decent damage. It's purple quality, so it probably sells. That's the wrong menu. Uh, how are we doing on... Whoa. Inventory. $52,301 in cash. Has that always been in your inventory? You can drop it. <laughs> Interesting. So that must be for multiplayer purposes. Okay, I have 103 lockpicks. That's why I have more than 100. It's weird that they stopped counting. Does that mean the counter can just keep getting larger and larger to a ridiculous degree? Or they just arbitrarily stop at, at 99? Because they're scared of three-digit numbers. There's, they never learned to add numbers that big. Another zombie statue. We're getting some good progress on that collectible in this particular episode, aren't we? What you got for me, buddy? What we got? We got alcohol and coffee. Good. That you can mix those together. Maybe. I, w I wouldn't necessarily, but go ahead. In the sewers we go. So I think this is going to be where our, our next story goal. We need to make sure the signal is strong enough to get past the jamming. Installing the amplifier on the tallest antenna tower in Haran should do the trick. Hopefully. Savvy says the safest way there is through the sewers. I'm fulfilling my YouTube stereotype. I am now taking part in signal boosting. Alright, let's work through the rest of this piece of equipment, then we can switch to my awesome katana, probably for the rest of the game at this point. These weapons last a pretty long time. With all my upgrades and such. It's another spooky environment. So far, kind of linear, so we don't have to worry about missing much. What do we have here? Nope, block picking hard. That means there's something juicy behind it. And I, I don't just mean zombie bodies. All oh, them sexy, juicy jo zombie bodies. Open. Got it. Come on. There we go. I'm I, I'm pretty aggressive and not careful with the lock picking because I know at this point they're like, eh. I've got a comical number of lock picks and they just give me more on a regular basis. I don't really need to be careful. It's more about just getting through the box already and moving on. Alright. Uh, Oh! Oh wow, nailed it. I, th I, thought, I th thought that was a doomed lockpick for sure. What do I get? Ooh, you look nice. 281 fierce pick and some valuables to sell. Okay. Another... Oh, this one's medium. This one has a special... This highlighted as being a special... Uh, containing something special, and it's actually a lower level box. Go figure. 
Oh, what are you? You look freaky. Uh, you're not very good, actually. Oh, well. More coffee to sell. Once I get back to town, I have a lot of coffee to give to that guy that wanted coffee. This is the type of game I would complete. Uh, at this point, probably not on camera, because the seri this series is outliving its welcome a little bit, but I'll probably sit there and do every single quest on my own afterwards. Let's see here. This definitely seems like the type of setting where a new enemy would get introduced. It's all spooky scary. Although I don't know how many more new enemies the game really has in it. Grappling hook! Ah. Uh, well, I feel silly. Oh cool, it's nighttime right now, so everything's double. I should just grappling hook around for no reason. Whee! I know how to play video games. Okay. So just hop on up. What's behind the wall? Nothing? Can I search the body? Not much to search, he's not even wearing clothes. I mean, shirt. Hey, buddy. What's down there? Oh, he has a gun. Double barrel. Double barrel shotgun. Do want. Gimme, gimme. Okay. Probably use. Oops. They keep pressing square to unequip a weapon because that's how it works in a. That is how it works in Dark Souls. Look at this fun gun. Finally, I have my own shotgun. I think we used the shotgun briefly in like a, a challenge mission or something at one point, but yeah, shotgun's totally something I want. That's my go-to weapon for any zombie game uh, when, uh, when you're not doing melee, of course, which in most games, that's not even an option or not a good option. Explosion, there's explosives around here. No enemy yet, surprisingly, and all the items for the most part are just... Fuck it, is that a kid? No way. Are we gonna fall for the kid thing again? We already know that they're not kids. We know that they're weird little screamer dudes. That are dicks. <laughs> Just gonna wander over here. Cause the kid's screaming at me. Well that's annoying. Can I just go over here? I can't. Am I about to get swarmed? How's this guy work? Am I supposed to throw these at him? Maybe? We'll try- Ow! Jesus Christ, that does some damage to you. Why? Why? Why must you do this to me, game? Alright. Fuck that kid. Is he dead? He's not dead. Where's that kid? There he is. Is he dead now? Oh! No, don't lockpick now, this is enemies coming after us. Probably gonna go break through that wall in a second here. Oh, hey guys, how- Shut up fast enough, shit. Uh, you guys wanna party? You guys wanna party? He's right, he's right up in my face. Alright, this is a good time to get that experience multiplier. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got your back. I know what I'm doing. You didn't stand up, you didn't stand up fast enough, dude. You gotta be, you gotta be agile. Gotta react quickly to what what happened to the physics there. Yeah, there's zombies coming after me. I'm just gonna wait for them. Oh, swung too early. My bad. Hello, friend. Uh, he used to be a runner. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, okay, number of enemies is becoming a problem. Because they're on fire? And fire bad. Bye. Hey, friend. <laughs> Did I just get a double kill? I think I just got a double kill. <laughs> She's on fire. <laughs> oh shit, he's still alive. Gotta fix that. There we go. So far, so good. This is a lot of combat experience for this game. That person was on fire. That was tragic, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. They're all zombies now. They once had lives, but I don't know them. They could have been dicks when they were people, too. You ever think about that? There we go. Power leveled up. I'm shocked. Is it because I was getting like a thousand per kill? <laughs> What can I buy now? I can't get ultimate combatant until I get power level 24 and I have... Wow, I'm only level 15? Wow. It takes a while to get that one. So what do I even want at this point? Windmill? Strike multiple enemies with a devastating attack. Requires two-handed weapon, which I don't really use. Melee throw? You could you could have used a duping glitch with that throw. You would throw your weapon and then if you picked it up really fast, uh, it would basically duplicate itself or something. I don't know, something like that. Lock on to three enemies with throwing weapons. Uh, stun skill. Instantly kill stunned enemies. Press square when standing in front of a stunned enemy to execute. Okay. An insta-kill. 
I probably read that early on and then forgot it was there. We're definitely hitting the point where a lot of my priority skills have already been picked on various trees. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick whatever's left for the most part. Might as well just keep leveling it. There's so many bodies. So many bodies. What have I done? Was this the monster I've become? Okay, hey, hey guys. Hi. Hi. Whoops. They're just coming at me today. Wow. L legit power leveling strat. <laughs> Are they done yet? The music... Oh, never mind. The music's back. I thought the music died down for a second there. Hey, friend. There we go. That, that took two hits. It really does feel like Walking Dead. We're like, when at some point Rick's group, you just realize, oh yeah, they've been they've been they've been surviving the zombie apocalypse. apocalypse for, oh god. You realize that like, yeah, they've they've just been surviving the zombie apocalypse for like a year or two now. They kind of just know how to fight things, and so they're all like quick and efficient, and they're just waiting. They're, they're waiting for them. I've actually taken some hits though. These fast zombies are definitely harder than slow zombies. I turned, I turned away on the camera almost as if I was trying to censor the brutality of my strike. Why are there so many of them? Is this just an infinite enemy zone? Because if it is, I'm getting hell's XP. Like, so much, yo. Oh yeah, he's one of those guys that takes extra hits, isn't he? Yeah, look how much experience I've already gained. 14,000 towards 46,000. I could just hang out here and just hit max level, probably. I don't... I think they're just gonna spawn infinitely. Which is... Weird design. Because they're easy to kill and they give you a ton of experience. I guess I'll just start trying to press forward. Because, like, nothing's happening. Oh god, the big guy's gonna beat down the door. Alright, well. Hey, buddy. Why are you, were you choking? Oh, can that guy. Can that guy fit in here? I honestly don't know what to expect. I'll, I'll be in trouble if he comes in here. Well, I guess here's where we find out, right? Wait, am I, am I... Oh, I'm the one choking. There's a lot of bad guys coming at me right now. Taking care of business. I, I can take it, though. It's slow damage. <laughs> this, is, this is even easier, because they have to come at a specific doorway. There are a lot of enemies, though. It's kind of... It's kind of problematic. Oh! I couldn't hit him. I can't even hit him directly, can I? Search the area a little bit. Is there anything cool around here? There's a blue thing. That? Yeah, that's a lot of enemies. This is a, this this is kind of a silly number of enemies coming at me. Uh, here we go. Take care of that. Where's the blue thing? Oh, it's a shotgun. Another one. All oh, right, I have a shotgun. I forgot about that because I was getting I was getting so many free kills. Probably gonna want to deal with that. I'm choking to death right now, so I'm gonna want to want to escalate things a little bit. There we go. There we go. Nice, sexy progress. Let's see, is my weapon broken? The sickle? Oh yeah, the sickle finally broke. All right, let's dismantle that shit. One metal part. <laughs> That's a little dis a little sad. All right, I'll do. I'll just do shotgun and katana so I can switch between them e easily. Because the katana is useful for all these guys coming in. But I want to use the shotgun against the big guy, because the, the uh, guns don't seem to be like they're working that much. I, have a, I mean, the, the, the melee weapons don't seem to be super effective against this guy. He's just standing there. I mean, if he just wants to hang out, that's cool, I guess. He, he's not even trying to swing at me or anything, he's just hanging out. Being, being a happy zomber. Being a happy, happy zomber. <laughs> no, 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 don't. Oh, God. I'm trying to reload, but it's trying to loot the bodies because there's such a big pile. Hey, buddy. Oh, his head's gone. That's a good sign. Gonna have to use another med kit. Thankfully, there's probably some over there. Ow, shit. What happened? Did he throw us? Oh, oh this, she probably tackled me. Look at the pile of bodies. <laughs> Alright, he's dead. 3,000 experience. What kind of loot do I get for medical gauze? Is that a kid? Is he alive? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that kid. It's just there's just a bunch of kids in here. Oh, there are a bunch of kids in here. Weird. 
I see you. You're not sneaking up on me. All right, let's heal real quick, because I, I went through some medkits in that weird scenario. So much blood. So much blood. Back to shotgun mode, because that's fun. <laughs> I'm probably going to... I'm probably supposed to use this, I assume. Oh, bad guy's coming behind me. I see you. You're not sneaking up on nobody. Come here. There we go. Oh, you're still alive. There we go. Can I use you? Turn that crank. Please, turn crank. There we go. What's that sound? That was, oh, that, was that the music? How many hand cranks? There's one on the other side, too. No way of knowing which one's the right one to do. Let's just start moving. That's, that seemed to stop the uh, infinite zombie spawn. This is probably a dead end, which means it probably put a collectible at it. Nope. Nope. My instincts were incorrect. Alright, so. We're in full katana shotgun mode. Things are exciting. There's giant monsters and screaming babies. Where we go? Hopping on down here. Alright. Oh, I see you. I see you. Yeah. How's that working out for you, buddy? Surpri I'm surprised that worked with a shotgun. I didn't think it would be, it'd have that kind of range and force. Let's see, I could probably just grapple hook right up there. No, physics. Oh, cool, it worked. Oh, no, it didn't work. Game, you screwed me. Game, you screwed me. Ooh, look, another one. <laughs> this game is fun. This game is just really fun. Like, just, up. Oh. I started pressing the, I started pressing R1 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 to attack because of because of Bloodborne and everything. Whoops. Oh well, we're fine. Good. They give you so many opportunities just to fuck with the bad guys in this game. That once you start having your powers all come together, that's not it's not necessarily about being super challenging. It's just it's just really goddamn fun. Oh, this just loops back into the same room. Yep. I see what you're doing, buddy. You're not gonna trick me. And down with you. So where is my goal? Up here, probably? Hick. Oh god, I, <laughs> I slammed directly into the roof! This poor guy's face! It's okay, we never have to see it. So we can just assume he's fine. What's up here, buddy? Anything cool? It's so dark. So dark and sad around here. Hey, bad guys. Taken care of. I will say, uh, Katana's very strong. Downside of it compared to the Sickle is that the Sickle was just a really fast weapon. The katana's a little slow and clumsy, so you're more likely to take a hit. As you're, as being shown so far here. You have, you have to really be ready for your incoming enemy. Like this. Exactly like that. Do a quick heal up. There's one guy on my right over here. Be ready for him. Hey, buddy. So I could have hit square to instant kill them. But I didn't. I'm bad at remembering my own abilities. Until I see the prompts, like, sec a split second after I've already pressed a button. So these guys are probably gonna come after me. Hello, friend. Yeah! Come on. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is he, is he just gonna hang out? There we go. Hey, power leveled up again. Neato. <laughs> what did we buy this time? Uh, fucking, I don't even... Are there cool things back here? These are all two-handed weapons is the problem. Wait, does this count as a two-handed weapon? I'm using it with two hands. It's, I think it's a two-handed weapon. I'm not sure. Is it? Dis, is the distinction given? Uh, there's no inspect option. It just says damage durability handling. Let's see. Yeah, as far as I know, there's no like distinction listed that says this is a two-handed weapon. So it's a little hard to tell whether something qualifies or not. Let's see. I could just give it a shot. I mean, I'm not going to be able to do a ground pound with a katana, that's for sure. That'd be weird. Whirlwind. Two-handed weapon. Let's just try it. Why not? Why not? I have nothing else to buy right now. They're just spamming me with points. Right trigger. That's not a 360 attack. Okay, so this doesn't count. This doesn't count as a two-handed weapon, even though it is a two-handed weapon, because... It, uh, one handing a katana is not the correct way to use a katana. It's not a fencing sword. Hey, buddy. 
Oh, you ducked. Smooth move. You, you prolonged your weird non-life for like an extra second by doing that. Ducking at the last second. I never thought you guys were so clever. Ooh, med kit. I should probably craft some of these, actually. Because I am taking hits. Because there's hells of enemies. And I hung out in infinite, in infinite enemy territory for longer than I probably should have. So let's craft some med kits. I'm going to get six out of this. No Molotovs right now. Uh, I could craft Molotovs, but they'd go into my my uh, med kit supply. I had a bunch of med kit uh, Molotovs in my stash, though, so... The Molotovs will return in the next mission if I get a chance to visit the stash. I just need to deal with the fact that uh, everything's apparently not in... They, they, went, they went and messed with my inventory in that last mission like they often do. Although it wasn't very well explained this time. First time I was a prisoner and I was clearly captured and put into a little arena to fight, so it made sense my stuff was gone. And this one it's like, you're infected with the zombie virus. Apparently getting the zombie virus means you lose all of your belongings. I'm like, well who had them and who put them in my stash? What's going on there? I don't understand. Anyway, looks like we've just found the underground path to the radio tower. Beautiful weather. This must be the place. Shops and quartermaster have un have new inventory. Oh, the night's over. I get seventeen thousand experience. I get to level up something again. Yeah, survivor rank up. What can I buy now? I already have my grappling hook, which is the important thing. And ultimate survivor costs level twenty-five, and I'm only at seventeen. Better shield crafting. Don't care. Camouflage attack. Do attack small camouflage. I don't really b b mess with camouflage. I should probably use the exploding car trap. That'd be pretty cool. Trap bombs. Haggling boot. Yep, we're gonna go for exploding car trick. That means I should be able to just press a button and a car that's wired to explode will just freaking blow up next to me, which would be sweet. I don't use the traps very much in this game because they haven't. I haven't felt that much need to because that's like careful planning around a localized area when I'm mostly. Oh wow. I was about to. I was about to compare the game to Assassin's Creed. Like that would require careful planning in a specific area, such as when you're assassinating someone in Assassin's Creed and you want to very specifically set things up. And then immediately, like, here's the leap of faith. Go land on the hay bale. We're fine. One day I'm gonna do this and end up landing on a bag of rusty knives, I just know it. They had to make that joke, they had to make so that joke eventually. Uh, yeah, man. You okay? I'm above ground and still in one piece. Oh, good. Now listen, you'll need the key card to the substation. Otherwise, there'll be no power to the antenna. Okay, where do I get this card? You'll have to search the containers. It'll be in one of them. Would I have to search the place? You mean the card might not even be here? No, no, it's it's there, mate. It's just the last guy who tried to do something like this made it to one of the containers before we uh, lost contact with him. I'm sorry, fierce kopesh. That just seems freaking sweet. Uh, low starting damage, but I could probably upgrade this thing to be pretty awesome. Look at it, it's a freaking curved blade. It's just cool looking. Oh man, that could be neato. I'm gonna unequip it for now though, because it's probably not very useful by comparison. Oops, I just unequipped my katana. Fix that, there we go. Obviously the, the katana is my lead weapon right now. It's the most powerful thing I've ever seen in my life. So somewhere around here there's a container with an access card in it, and... I'm probably gonna have to lockpick it or something, but I am not lockpicking in the correct containers right now. I bet my character really regrets burning all of that antizen earlier, because that would have saved Jade's life, you stupid shit. And also your life. You'd both be not- you'd be no, both not worrying about antizen right now, because you'd be uh, covered in it. Oh yeah, you didn't have to burn it, all you have to do is hide it somewhere. See, it's not like the, uh... Like, you have to call into these people. The, Im the implication there is that these people don't know what's going on on screen. They're not seeing uh, everything through a camera as far as- Ooh, 440. These weapons are getting really strong now. Is that actually better than my current weapon? That's not nailed plank. That's adorable. Yeah, wow, yeah. That, that weapon I just picked up, the pickaxe, unmodified, is already almost as powerful as my current weapon. That's crazy. It's a good thing I, it's a good thing I checked through this building and got two really powerful weapons. But yeah, the fact that I have to call in implies that the person, the uh, people I was calling into, were uh, could not tell what's going on, and I have to tell them myself, which means that they can't tell another statue. Wow, they don't they don't know if I destroyed the antizen or not. 
So all I had to do was just not give the antizen to those guys and the people that we were supposed to not give it to and then right, we'd do the whole rise mission and like and everything would go as planned but I wouldn't have to destroy the antizen because if I didn't destroy it then I'd have the ability to freaking keep myself alive because I've been bitten by zombers but apparently that's not important to my character he doesn't want to prolong his life stupid stupid man and, and, and as a result Jade died because our protagonist is a stupid person whoops what's gonna be in here do I have to match the X button for this one nope being thorough here because there clearly is some cool stuff around here. Ooh, this one's got perps. It's got all the perps, and that could be all sorts of thing in the sorts of things in the perps. Let's try the right direction. Left wasn't going so great from. Ooh, careful. Yeah, there we go. What am I getting for my efforts? I'm getting another fierce machete. That's not actually very good, but we got some valuables though, so things could be worse. Batteries. They're keeping us busy. All right, let's let's head in towards our objective now. Decent rain effects, and the foliage mo moves in a pretty good way. The foliage looks pretty good in the rain and wind. Like this is actually surprisingly photorealistic. Hey, buddy. Whoops! Did I do that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was rude. Hey. And then there was two of him. Oh, he's he's still alive, isn't he? These guys are. Oh God. I was going to say, these guys are hardy. Oh, and there's an actual hardy one. There's one of the brute dudes over there. Come on, guys. I'd really appreciate it if you charged me. There you go. Oh, nailed it. All right. Yeah, this guy can be a problem. Oh, god damn it. Shock Video game shockwaves are silly. Because that guy was not in range to hit me with an actual attack. I'm just going to go past him. These guys are dumb. I don't want to play with them anymore. There you go. Hey, buddy. Wow, you're dodgy, aren't you? You're a little pesky dodger. Is that guy behind me? Oh, oh, there are surprises all ab abound. There are a number of shocking revelations to be had. I, I see you coming after me. Wow. I definitely had more control with my sickle, didn't I? Oh, well. Quick heal? I don't really feel like dealing with brute guy. They're annoying enemies because they have really weirdly long range, so it's hard to get in and hit them and get out with a lot of weapons. Hop out top where no one can really- Ow! Grappling hook, why? Why have you betrayed me? So somewhere around here there's an access c card. Oh, look at all those bad guys down there. I could make a mess of that. Yay! Explosions for everyone! Oh, right, the shrapnel grenades. They're, I forgot they're useless against zombies. Well, they know I'm here now. At least they'll come after me. Throwing star. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're out of, we're out of throwing stars. Fun times. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want a freaking baseball bat in my inventory. Get this crap out of here. You are taking up valuable inventory space that could be used for th stuff that matters, like rifles. Let's see. We. That was pointless, of course. But whatever. Uh, let's just deal with this guy from here. I don't like you, brood man. I don't like you one bit. I do not appreciate your life choices. Is he dead yet? I think he's dead now. These guys do not. These guys are not coming after me. I guess they can't reach me up here. Oh, I guess one of them was an explodey guy because he down. All right. Well, hey guys. Hello. Oh, you're. Oh, it's one of you. It's a spitter. Not letting him have fun. Ex exploding gas tanks. Exploding foreheads. Anything cool around here? There's a building. They're going to take a while to get to me, so let's go check the building out. Med kits. Yeah, gauze. I need. Pro I probably need more alcohol, though. More gauze. Yeah, I'm going to have to collect alcohol, probably to be able to craft a proper number of med kits right now. Anything cool around here? Tin can. Those zombies are not catching me right now. What if I open this door? Will it show up here? Zombers. Uh, they're not even coming up here, are they? They don't try very hard. <laughs> They're trying to give up. They're very apathetic zombies right now. Anything cool? Lockpick. Oh, cool. Because I need those a lot. Hey, buddy. I'm so glad you could show up. We have really we really were hoping you'd, you'd make it to the party. Aw. We do have a straggler. 
Shotguns are just the best thing, right? Alright, we gotta search the containers. Whatever containers means in this context. Adjustable wrench. It has 30 attack. These are garbage weapons. Alright, well you have money on you probably. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we'll check the downstairs area. Hit. There we go. Nope, doesn't open. I heard zombie noise. It says check the containers. What constitutes a container in this case? Is it a porta potty? Is it this little little hand cranky thing? Am I checking? Am I checking like trash? Oh, maybe this thing. Maybe, maybe it's this one. Oh, it's not locked. That's probably a good sign. Now it's gonna be like, no, it's not here. Nope, that didn't do it. Ah. Uh, something back here. There's a oh, there's a back door to the area I tried to open a second ago. Oh, hello, friend. Oh. Oh, it was an explodey guy. Okay. Well, he's dead this time because I blew him up in my face. So good job, me. Great. Nothing. Oh, storage containers. They meant like these big. The whole building is the container. I get it. So I had to check out this bottom floor. Well, it's a good thing I died for nothing. That's my favorite. It's like one of my favorite hobbies. Anything cool here? Nuts? Ah, nuts. As you can tell, I have the most creative jokes. And you should pay me money. Okay, so... I... Found more uh, alcohol, which means I definitely have materials for more med kits, which is good, because I'm short of med kits. There we go. This will be four more to make up for my mistakes. There we go. So, we need to get to the next location, because, as you would probably would have guessed, the first location didn't have the thing at it. We can't have these fetch quests be too quick. Okay, oh, I, uh, the UV light out. What? Why do I have the UV light out? I keep, I keep not equipping that, and then it keeps re-equipping it for me, as if it knows, it thinks it knows better than me. Hey, friend. I would really appreciate it if you could just throw some of your experience my way. There we go. Off to a good start. I'm glad we could see eye to eye. I'm gonna move on now. How do I get to... I have to... I probably have to grappling hook up onto, onto the wall from across. Can I reach it? Nope. Gonna have to go across the water. I keep expecting some kind of zombie fish. Which would... I'm, I'm not cool with. I don't like being attacked underwater in games. Just as a general rule, not a... Not one of the things I'm happy to do. That's why I didn't beat Banjo kazooie as a kid. You get to the shark level. I don't even mean the, uh, the actual shark enemy. I mean the shark, the level, there's a level that just has a giant shark. <laughs> I'll get you pretties yet. Uh, there's a level where you, you, I think it's Clanker's Cavern, you have to deal with a giant shark. Shit, these fuckers again. And I was immediately just like, nope, nope, nope. Oh, he's gonna do that. Oh, that didn't work out for you, did it? Alright, so, uh, there we go. I killed something with that, not him though. Did I ever kill this guy before? Oh yeah, I kinda killed him earlier. I need to get some distance first. Ow! I guess he blew it up. I guess he blew the barrel up. I was gonna get some distance and shoot it, but... <laughs> nope. Oh, wow. They teleport you to the we the weirdest locations. Oh my god, and that guy, that guy immediately knew I was here. He knew where I was before I knew where I was. What is this bullshit? Oh, there's two giant guys in here. Say so what they want you to fight for this one, that's for sure. Oh, anything back here? That says I'm out of line of sight anyway. Oh cool, plastic. Plastic. Hey buddy. I got somebody, for sure. Get, if, if I got experience, that means someone died. Hey buddy, you just hanging out by the fire? Ow! Other guy threw a rock. Rude. So rude. Okay, grappling hook. Grab on. He didn't grab on. Now I'm going on. Yep. Trying to get up there? I can't get up there. Okay. I cannot hop up there. And now I'm, now I'm falling off things. Now I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's me. Dead guy. Hide behind something real quick. Do a quick heal. Oh, I see you, asshole. I see you right there. No more tricks for you. Did he die? He, I didn't get an experience boost from it. Yeah, I guess he's dead. I guess they just stopped rewarding you at some point for those guys. You, oh, you, oh, you're dead. Oh, cool. 
Yes! Fucking finally! Got it. Savvy, I got the key card. Great. Now go to the substation. It's close to the antenna mass, inside the fence. Use the card to get inside. They definitely wanted to make sure that you got a shotgun by this point, huh? Wow. Shotgun headshot. Way to go me. That wasn't very effective. Uh, I'd like to kill the two brute guys if I can. Just seems like a... I kind of feel like I kind of it kind of feels dumb to run away from this place without without killing them. Come on. If I keep backing away, I should be fine. Oops. Not sure what my goal was there. Running. Run. Ow. I tried clicking the stick to run, but I guess because I started a reload animation, I was just screwed. Yeah. Hopped on that guy's head. What's his weapon? Oh. We'll be fine without it. Just gonna start wailing on this dude. Oh god! <laughs> right, they can just charge you. Oh god. Yeah, things have, things have gone better. <laughs> you might you might be intended to just grab the key and run for it rather than try to fight these guys. But that's not gonna stop me. No sorry. Yep. Yep. Hello, friends. I try to back away real quick. Oop. I see what you're up to. Oh, I'm out, of, I'm out of bullets. And he's coming after me. So we're just gonna hop around. Oh god, he's right on me. I'm being trampled. I'm being trampled. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think his, his rock was gonna be able to cover the top. Uh, I'm pretty sure- I was pretty sure it wasn't gonna be able to go over the top of this rock. Yeah, he's just gonna throw him into the wall over and over again. Oh. I found the ideal location. I'm out of bullets, though. That's not ideal. If only I had the ideal ammo supply. Ow! Shit. I thought I could dodge around his attack, but he hit me right in the face. As it turns out. Turns out he's a little good at- he's a good- he's good at tracking that attack. Where's the other one now? Oh, neither of them really moved. Okay. Hey, buddy. God damn it. I keep trying to dodge around it, but even if you most- even when you mostly dodge it, it still pretty much connects and knocks you over. Like, I, maybe maybe I'm just old school, but I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like getting hit by an attack that does one damage shouldn't knock you over. It's kind of like in the territory of a uh, darkest dungeon when a a a, a, a dam an attack crits you for one damage and then everyone's like demoralized, like oh no, we're gonna die here. It's like you, you literally lost like one seventh of your. You lost like 170th of your hit points, you're going to be fine. These guys are dicks. They just don't freaking die. Oh god, he was charging me. It's a little a little hard to keep track of uh, when there's two of them. There we go. He, oh, he's charging. Ah, I, I dodged backwards. What's the, what's the point of having a dodge if it doesn't dodge attacks? <laughs> It's like the entire point. Ow. I'm about to die. This is the end of me. Hop up top. Yep, fighting these guys is not a good idea. But I'm still not changing course, apparently. Oh, missed twice. Way to go, me. There we go. He's stunned. He's stunned! There we go. That makes him vulnerable to attacks. He hit a wall like a dumb head. Like a big dumb face. Uh oh Oh! God damn it. Dodge one, but then the other one's charging you. Hop up. Unfortunately, they can hit you when you're down, too. You don't ha they don't have to wait for you to recover. No video game courtesies, cr courtesies are being given to you there. Oh, he didn't even hit me. Come on. He, he definitely ran past me that time. Okay, that one's dead. Run away before the other guy charges me from behind, because he's about to. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I'm a little surprised the game didn't just count that as hitting me. Ow. I just did a lot of damage to him, I think. You definitely get experience for every hit, so at least there's that. Keep my distance. He's charging. It's a little easier when there's just one of them. There's just the constant threat of one of them running up behind me was kind of a problem. Oh, God. I, I thought he was going to swing at me, not charge me.
Climb up. Climb up. <laughs> Quick healing opportunity. Hey, buddy. Guess who's stunned? I know, we're both stunned. I eventually managed to beat you after using like 500 things. I can't even- I can't even loot his body? Cause my inventory is full? What's some garbage I can throw away? Wow, I picked up a lot of stuff I don't really care about necessarily. Uh... I don't know, man. What's something- One- oh, that's a pistol. Oriental cleaver, that- that thing's garbage. That's a garbage cleaver. I don't need throwing knives. Get out of here. Too much crap to keep track of. Alright, give me your stuff. Remarkable heavy fireman's axe. I was kind of hoping for money. Heavy double bit axe. Those, those might not even be good items either. Oh well, let's get to the substation after I wasted all that time. Wasted the viewer's time on that such nonsense. Enter the power substation. Now, how far away is that? Can I grapple hook up there, hopefully? Please don't drop me to my doom. Okay, cool. Every now and, this, every now and then this game totally screws you. Because it lets you grapple hook onto a ledge. But then your character doesn't actually have... It doesn't have the ability to grab the ledge. So you just fall to your doom. And it's like, well, that was fun. Thanks, game. It looked like a ledge. Why, do, why is it even... Why is it even a grapple target if I can't grab it? With my hand afterwards. Because otherwise you're just going to die. There we go. So we're revisiting another power substation. We're probably gonna have to climb that, uh... We're probably gonna have to climb that tower. I'm gonna have to find a normal way in because that barbed wire is all in my way. Let's go ahead and repair my katana. Is it gonna proc? It procced! Awesome! So my the thing where it has a chance to not ha use a repair cost happened. So we still have four remaining repairs. Which will probably be like six more remaining repairs or something because it every, every time it has a chance to not proc. So what kind of nastiness is in here? Hey buddies. Oh god, no, I don't want I don't want to play with you. Those fucking explosive guys can be such a surprise. Hey buddy. It's, it's definitely a nasty trick when the explody guy is in an area where he doesn't face you, because then you he just looks like a, a normal zombie for the most part. And then you then you die horribly. Oh there's oh no shit, you're alive. I thought I thought I killed you. Whoopsie. You guys doing alright down there? Don't think I need to deal with you right now. I'm just gonna hop over here. What's that? That's the body. We're f he can just take a rest. It's fine. A lot of big broody guys. Hey guys, how's it going? There we go. Took a little bit of a wind up, but I got you. There's a lot of bad guys around here. Climb up. If they follow me, then they're they're easy targets. <laughs> Are they killing each other now? Let's see here. Oh, I don't have any bullets. Let's see. If I get him to attack over here, he's just gonna blow that thing up. That'd be handy. If I can do it without getting myself blown up, of course. Come on. Come swing at me, dumb guy. Oh, here it comes. No, he didn't kill it. Okay. Bash his brain in. No, he's not going to blow himself up. Okay. I was hoping he'd hit the barrel. Hopefully when I'm not in direct range of it. Hey, buddy. How's it going, buddy? You having a good old time? You better swing at this barrel. It's, it offended your mother or something. Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Swing, motherfucker, swing! Want to hang out behind here? Really? Game, you're just messing with me now. Why are you doing that to me? I thought we were, I thought we were friends. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What are you even swinging at right now? Come here, buddy. I'd really appreciate it if you did me a, did me a solid, bro. He's not even swinging now. It's like he's trying to taunt me. Oh, God. And there it goes. And boom goes the dynamite. He doesn't seem phased. Alright, well, that was fun. We need to enter the substation. Is that this thing? That's not a door. Apparently. Oh, that's, the, that's where I have to go. Get out of here. I need to open this thing. Uh, key card. Is he behind me? He's behind me. I need to get some distance. Because I need to get through that door. Ooh, explodey barrel. Hello, explodey barrel. I really wish I had bullets right now. You got- Ow! Hammer guy hit me from behind. Rude. Let me fight one at a time. 
You're just being cheap now. Oh shit. Get off my face. <laughs> face punch. These guys all dead yet? I want their experience. There we go. Just gonna circumvent the building really quick and hopefully can go through that door I just opened and close it behind me, I hope. Please open. Now. Lock pick. Lock pick. Duct tape. String. Oh, the back door opens. Or no, it doesn't. Holy shit. Or yes, it does. Oh, he did. He did. Oh no. Well, what's he got? Nails? He nailed that. The suicide. Get it? That's horrible. Did he have to nail it to the. Oh no, he's chains. I was wrong. Wait, is that a nail? Yep, he did nail it. He did use nails. Ha! <laughs> Environmental comedy. Or something, I don't know. Oh, quick time events. Oh. Gotta open some grates in Batman. Come on. Open up. We gotta drive home the tension even though there's no risk of anyone actually coming after me and finding me right now. Huh? Oh, there it is. Done. Awesome. Now find the control panel at the base of the mast and turn it on. What if he went all zombie? I guess he already was kind of zombie. He, he's got the eyes. He probably needed antizen and it was like, I'm just going to kill myself because I, I don't have no antizen. Aerosol, coffee. Can I hop through this thing? No. Oh, the control panel's in a different building. My bad. Alright, we have to go outside. Is the big guy hanging out? Yes, he is. Alright, bye. Deuces. Oh, come on, man. Oh, oh, he hit something that exploded. Okay, I was like, how did he even hurt me? I was so comically far away. They get kind of AoE happy with some of these enemies. Oh, well. Can I just hop up on top with the grappling hook? I assume the control panel is somewhere up, up on top of the building. Oh, it's on the bottom level? Is it... Where is it? Where's control panel? There it is. Quickly, 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 quickly. Dodge away, dodge away, dodge away. Top of the mast and install the amplifier. It'll turn every radio within 100 meters into a powerhouse. Yeah. Just get to the top. No sweat. I think that guy's mad at me. All right. Why can't why can't I grappling hook it? Just let me grappling hook right over there, and then we're set. Yeah, you used up my grappling hook, but we didn't even use. How could it use it up if it never got triggered? Ow! This game. All right. This game really likes to hurt me, hurt when I need it least. I guess I got that guy. Someone behind me? Oh god, there's a lot of people behind me. Uh, why are you being a, why are you being mean to me, game? Why you gotta why you gotta do that way? Why you gotta play it that way, huh? There we go. Headsh <laughs> headshot. And she's gone. And he's gone. Any more? Who else wants some? So now that oh now I can climb up at least. If I can avoid this asshole, it's gonna light things on fire. Alright, how do I... Right here. There we go. Outside of range of asshole that likes to blow things up. Can't climb any higher. I just want to point out, you can totally climb higher. Like, that's easier to climb on, isn't it? It's a grating. Like, I was just shimmying up in like, a, like some sort of super ninja here, but that's like a ladder, practically. But that's the thing that they use to say you can't climb higher. Alright. Hit. It's weird, that, it's weird that they know- it, I find it amusing that there's always convenient, like, there's climbing rope in, on the ledges you're supposed to climb on. It's kind of funny. And, uh, it's, we it's weird that they just- they just null- they ran- they introduce the grappling hook, but then they just randomly nullify it. They're like, no, nah, you can't use it this time. You gotta go the manual climbing route this time. Where are we going? That's a ledge. Where do I go from here? Um... I can't use my grappling hook on anything. I can't hop up, can I? No. And this is a drop-off point that just goes back to where I just was. 
So there has to be like something I can climb on, right? Can I climb on that? Oh, cool. I guess the once again the the weird, the the weird climbing rope was the clue. Oh God. Good job, guy. <laughs> you did a good job automatically climbing over the top of that and then plunging to your doom. <laughs> they totally just jumped me ahead. That's the thing I had to climb up, and they just spawned me ahead of it. Like, uh, you were too stupid to do that part. We're just gonna, we're just gonna skip you past that. You don't need to deal with that anymore. It's fine. It's fine. Keep playing the game, baby. That's the zip line I'm gonna use to escape later, probably. It goes way off to that mountain. This thing's probably how how I continue. So, oh, there we go. He just auto climbed this thing. I was gonna be really mad if he plunged off to the the uh, cliff again. Can I, glob, can I climb that? No. Yeah, I'm not... I like the parkour part of this game. I'm not where you're like running around on buildings. Whenever they can throw a tower at me though, I'm just like... I can't really see what I'm supposed to do, man. Where do I... Is it over here somewhere? Like, where's the thing I climb on? Just... I can't really tell. Oh, is it that thing? I guess. Huh? Oh, I thought he was just gonna fall to his doom again. I just don't trust this character not to kill himself. He's really good at it. He likes to just climb right over cliffs. Please catch it. Oh, oh, okay. First person platforming. Everyone's favorite. And there I was. It was my seventh day on the tower. And we had to climb a very linear path. We either succeed or the game starts you over until you succeed. I think it made me skip something again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it skipped past something that I messed up on. I didn't have to do the jump that I just did. <laughs> Even the game's like, yeah, just fuck it. <laughs> Whenever it does a climbing section, it's like, eh, we'll just skip you past that part. Not even because like you consistently had trouble with it, but because like you had you you messed up once on that spot, so it's like, eh, we'll just skip it. Right. Remember to set the frequency on your radio when you mount the app. Yeah, yeah, got it. Set it to what? I guess, I guess Crane's just like a radio expert and already knows the answer to that question. Cause like, I feel like there was a specificity to that statement that could have been added on. Any of you guys gonna wake up? Wow. Look at all these zombies all the way up, all the way up here. I'm impressed. Ow, get off me. Ow, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, bye. Splat. Unfortunately, there was something in the way so I couldn't see him splat. But I wanted to. Boy, I wanted to. So what happens up here? Ooh. There's a head in my face. Get off my get off my tower. Get off get off I can't get it off I can't get him off my tower. It's my tower now. Get your get your organs off here. Is it a crow? A pigeon? Is that like a reference to condemned? That's a cool game, condemned. First person brawler horror game. Less zombies, though. More, more, more psych, uh, more drug-addled, insane bums is more of the thing there. But similar feelings, to some extent. Don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Yeah, the, one of the problems that comes up in a first-person climbing context is that you just don't know where your character's hands and feet are that well. So you just have to trust the game to help you out. And when it doesn't, which often is the case in this game, you just fall to your doom and it's like, oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing there's checkpoints. That'll fix the problem. We got it. We had to stop the raining because now that we're so high up, the render distance is too extreme, and it's going to make the frame rate drop. What if that was the reason? That'd be kind of that'd be kind of funny. I can hop from here. <laughs> if I hop off this thing for a second, it gives me one agility real quick. I got a flag. Oh, that wasn't my goal. That's not what I was trying to go. All right. I guess we'll just go back down. That flag was not why I was here, apparently. Whoops. How, how high up am I? I can't really see from here. There we go. There's a thing around here I'm supposed to use. There it is. There you are. Anyone who can hear me, please listen. My name is Kyle Crane, and I'm sending this message from inside the Huron Quarantine. 
Colonel Tanner and the Ministry of Defense have lied to you. There are still survivors inside the walls. They plan to firebomb Haran, but if those bombs drop, you will know Tanner and the Ministry are cold-blooded murderers. Holy shit, there's someone alive in the quarantine zone? Hey, do you copy? Do you copy? It's squadron! That was too close. Crane, is that you? Do you copy? How the hell do you want? We want to offer you a chance to get out of that horrible place. Oh yeah? And why would you do that? I never found out who had your precious file. You don't even have to pay the rest of my fee. Water under the bridge, Kyle. We're best off just to move past that. All you need to do is to bring Dr. Zara's research with you, and we'll send a nice, safe helicopter to extract you. You realize I know what was in the file. I knew you were going to exploit the virus. Crane! Oh my god. You need the cure now for spin, don't you? That's the only way you could get out of this. Try to convince everyone you were working toward a cure the whole time. Don't be ridiculous. Bring us the research, and everything will be fine. And you want the research? Just fucking wait for my signal. Savvy, you there? The amplifier's installed. Brilliant, Crane. Now just zip line down. That tunnel I mentioned is near where you land. Zip line of convenience. That's a very long zip line, wow. Fuck, no, no, no! Oh, 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 yeah. I'm alive. I'm alive. Whoa, did I do that? Did the zipline collapse? It didn't. Did I, did I... Did I mess up somehow? I might have pressed a... I might have bumped a button for a second there when I was just sort of waiting. Whoops. Uh, where are we? Oh, these are the storage containers that we had to check out earlier. So, it doesn't seem like we're too far off from our goal. If I can zipline... If I can hop up there, maybe? Please grab the... Oh, game. Game, you did the thing I said you do sometimes, where you just let me die. Why you, you don't be a dummy. Don't be dumb about a game. Oh wait, I was supposed to go down here. Ow. All right, we're fine. We got we got roughly where I needed to go. It just hurt a lot. Ow. This game's mean to me. All right, we're going to kin. Ooh, things are gross in here. So the GRE is clearly trying to use Dr. Zero's re uh, research to get out of everything. They're trying to fix the conundrum they're in. But they don't really deserve it. But it sounds like uh, Crane temporarily sounded like he was cooperating just because the fact that they're willing to send a helicopter at all could be a useful research, uh, a useful resource. So what if we can get someone out of here that needs to get out of here? Maybe not even just myself. One of these guys again? I'm out of here. I am out of here. Don't like dealing with that guy's crap. They, they have a tendency to hit things that explode in the environment. Hey, buddy. Just gonna run around you real quick. Do this. Oh, no. Speaking of explosions. Oh, god damn it. Is he still chasing me? Where's the exploded guy? Oh, exploded guy blew up. Cool. Hut. I hopped real quick. Got away. Yeah, the brute guys are just kind of obnoxious. I'm more than happy to skip them. Oh. That's a volatile. That's a volatile. We could be in pro we could be in trouble if we have to deal with them. They don't like to die, as it turns out, which is a problem for me. Oh cool, this place is kind of isolated from that guy's location. Yep, th these guys aren't volatiles yet. So that's a good sign for me. It may have just been a lucky break for me that that guy was trapped by debris. All right, let's get out of here. Hoppy, hoppy. Hey, buddy. There we go. Nice killing. Bl oh, he's not dead, is he? Nope. Not dead yet. Hey, friend. There we go. So much experience. If this was a, uh, these are the big hardy guys that you have to really get the headshots on to kill. So if I uh. If this was nighttime right now, I'd be getting like a thousand to pop, maybe even twelve hundred or fifteen hundred, depending on the kill condition. Should be very handy. That's definitely a way to level up. Oh, he started to grapple me. How dare you, sir? 
I could be looting all their bodies, but that just sounds like a little too much time. Getting a little impatient for some of the rep the uh, repetitive parts of the game. The combat's fun. I like I like running around and messing with the with the uh, solving the problems of each uh, combat scenario. But looting everybody probably doesn't need to happen right now. It's mostly resources I don't necessarily use anyway. So my goal's somewhere over here. It looks like. Anything in here? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Alright. Oh. We're gonna go swimming again. I wonder how long this one's gonna be. Cause last time it was like it was like a prolonged segment of here's a whole bunch of here's a whole bunch of bodies underground. Look how spooky scary we can be. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be a long one, isn't it? Hopefully there's not a bunch of Rise's men ready to shoot me the moment I come up. Oh wait, maybe it's not so long. Th that might be the way up. Yeah, alright. Where am I going? Anyone want some? Cause I got some. I could sleep here for if I wanted to. Recover. One side's underwater, I, I don't think zombies swim, and the other side's a locked door, so... We'd, pre we'd be pretty safe around here. I kinda want a lockpick just to see what's inside these- Oop! I was actually nailing it right off the bat. That never happens, so I, d I instinctively let go out of habit. Anything cool in here? Is it just resources? It is just resources, isn't it? Ah. I wanted to find something cool in here, man. Just coffee and some tools and things. Yep. It's always a bummer when you open a side path and there's not, not really anything in it. Alright, on to Old Town.